We see the Big Bang. We see its afterglow. It's the beginning of space and time. What kicked it off? The most common misconception about the Big Bang is that it was an explosion in space. But it's so much more interesting than that. Really, the space itself is bursting out of that primordial event, which we don't fully understand. Like a star exploding, you'd be able to see where the center had been. It's not like that at all. The explosion happens everywhere simultaneously. We are now in the center of what was once the Big Bang. We were all at the center. The center was everywhere. And that is a very perspective changing. The universe comes out expanding. A bang. <laughs> and it's hot, very hot, as we're saying, trillions of times hotter than anything we can conceive of recreating here on Earth. And then it cools over the past 14 billion years. It produces light when it's that hot. Eventually, the matter breaks away. It gets so cold, it starts to fall into little seeds that formed in the early universe, and those become the galaxies. But the light is left. It just doesn't tire. It doesn't go away. It doesn't get absorbed by anything. It fills all of space. And so we literally have a 13.8 billion year old hot bath of light that permeates the universe in every direction. We go out and we measure this light. And it is unbelievable, stunning observations.